And welcome back to Most Buffalo. You know, we see his picture pretty much every Monday here on Most Buffalo, and we've shared his story a couple of times here too. This is Yeti, or Mr. Yeti, as he's called around Dodge <laughs> Elementary School in Williamsville, where he is a paws of love therapy dog. The tripaw Alaskan Malamute was rescued from a puppy mill in Pennsylvania from really certain death. And a few years ago, his left leg had to be amputated due to a puncture wound in his left foot that went untreated at the puppy mill. So Yeti needs a little extra care and physical therapy, and sometimes his health has kept him from seeing his friends at Dodge. The third grade teachers there started a campaign called Throw Kindness Around Like Confetti for Yeti, and Marie and I have both said that Mr. Yeti was welcome to come visit oh, us yeah. anytime here on Most <laughs> Buffalo, and we are very excited that he's here today with some of his family and his best friends from Dodge. Thank you so much for coming. We have Ellen Thanks here. Tell us who us. else we have here with us. Um, I'm Ellen Shab. I'm a third grade teacher. This is Megan and Brooke and Ella, all oh, us boy. fans of Yeti <laughs> and students at Dodge who have gotten to uh, work with Yeti and read to Yeti and are just so, um, appreciative that we get to have Yeti at school. Yeah, we have Dan here as well. And how did you end up with getting Yeti into the school? Uh, he's, he just has a personality. He's yeah. just a very, yeah. very kind, outgoing dog. And that just shows themes through and through. Very different for Huskies, because they're normally a yeah. little more uh, energetic. He, and yeah. <laughs> and he's he's a male mute, so yeah, he is part of the working dog. Yeah. Group, yeah. So instead of pulling the sleigh, he pulls, you know, Kindness around at uh, Dodge. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have learned a lot from Yeti, huh? Mm -hmm. what, what have you learned from him? Um, I learned that normally in the hallway, like he always smiles at you, <laughs> and like we always smile back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. he brings us like joy to like um, everyone in the school. Like you just like see him in the hallway with his tongue out, so <laughs> like it makes us smile. <laughs> And you guys have been helping him as well through this GoFundMe, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's such an important part of our school and our community, and Dan certainly is as well. So since uh, Yeti has been struggling with some of his injuries, we've missed yeah. him a lot. Um, so we just decided that we needed to do something for part of our family, and we started that GoFundMe page to uh, throw kindness around like confetti for Yeti. And one of the things he's been doing is hydrotherapy, which is really interesting. Yeah, so it was, it was a, a good try, but he was, hit a really tough time with that, so mm -hmm. we're gonna look into other types of therapy too. Gotcha. Yeah. What is his prognosis, Dan? His prognosis, well, he has hip dysplasia, and we really don't know where it's gonna go from there, mm -hmm. but whatever he needs, we're gonna take care of. Mm -hmm. Have you tried wheels for the back end yet? Well, that's, that's in his that's future, next? yeah, that's in his future, that's yeah. That's next. And don't you love the way uh, schools, hospitals, airports, mm -hmm. everyone is seems to be embracing this idea that, you know, dogs like the kids have make everything better. Yeah, they do. It's just been amazing to have him there for the kids to read to and just his story that encourages kids to think about the challenges that they have to overcome and you know, oh, like the girl boy. said, he's always smiling. <laughs> yeah. He makes do with what he can what he can boy. do with his tripod situation, so it's a good lesson that way, too. I feel like I'm going to cry. I've been so excited to see him. You have no idea. I'm like, Mr. Yeti is coming. I'm so excited. Uh, and, you know, there is a GoFundMe um, for Mr. Yeti, as we were talking about. They're looking to raise $10,000 to help him out. That money goes right to an account at the Amherst Small Animal Hospital for Yeti to help with those medical bills. And you can find that on our website, WGRZ.com, if you want to help him out. And, of course, he brings us smiles still every Monday here for How Was Your Weekend? We love it. So we're, we're, so, uh, we're so glad that you've shared them with us. Yeah, and we wish them nothing but the best. And FYI, Dan, my parents had to do wheels for a dog and it was mm -hmm. just fine. So <laughs> FYI, right. yeah, right. it went great. We great. got to scoot to weather, but Mr. Yeti's gonna stick around and be with us for uh, oh after How Was Your Weekend? Oh, good. Yeah.